people who are one in a million. Number 5. How Javier Butet's unusual appearance helped launch his career as a scary monster actor. Because of his talent and his ability to contort his lengthy arms and fingers in ways human skeletons aren't supposed to bend, the Spanish actor, who has Marfan syndrome, has landed roles in films like Alien, Covenant and The Mummy. Batet, 39, who recently played an Egyptian god in The Mummy and a space xenomorph in Alien, Covenant and will shortly play a leper in the upcoming Stephen King adaption it as well as the title monster and screen gems folklore-inspired Slender Man, says, My body is different, very peculiar, which he is currently shooting in Boston. As a kid, I used to stand in front of the mirror and make strange shapes with my arms and legs. I'd think it was great when I'd move my elbows or fingers. But Tet was diagnosed with Marfan syndrome when he was about six years old, a rare genetic illness that causes extraordinary height and slenderness. As well as double jointedness, he grew up to be six foot six and just 120 pounds. He developed a unique fascination for aliens as a result of the ailment, as well as witnessing his first Star Wars movie the same year. I was drawing creatures non stop, and he fantasized of one day portraying monsters on screen. Number 4 A Blue Skinned Man. His life story is even stranger than his skin. A blue dude isn't something you see every day. Paul Carrasson, also known as Papa Smurf, is the protagonist of this story. His appearance is unlike anything you've ever seen before, but his life story is even stranger. Prepare to be amazed as you watched Paul go from being an ordinary man to being blue and appearing on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Paul's life underwent unexpected twists and turns along the road. Paul Carrasson, often known as the Blue Man, hails from Madera, a California town in the heart of the state. We know his photographs are frightening since we've never seen somebody like him before. His life narrative is unique, which is why so many people want to learn more about him. Number 3, Larry Gomez may be the world's hairiest man. Larry Gomez could be the world's hairiest man. A man who was bullied repeatedly as a child is now reaping the benefits of being known as the world's hairiest man. Larry Gomez, a resident of San Bernardino, California, has hypertrichosis, an uncommon condition that causes thick, dark hair to sprout all over his body, including his face. Hypertrichosis can be present at birth or develop later in life as a result of medicines, relationships, or connections to eating disorders. The illness has no cure, and any therapy is just temporary and cosmetic in nature. Larry Gomez, also known as Wolf Man, actual name Victor, has come to terms with his disability. While hunting for an apartment in 2011, he married and now owns a rental company that includes bouncy castle rentals. Hair covers 98% of my body. He remarked. Number 2, the boy who is slowly turning into stone has a debilitating skin ailment that causes his body to freeze. Ramesh, from Bagalan, Nepal, has ichthyosis, which causes him to have dry, scaly skin all over his body. However, only 15 days after she brought him home, his skin began to peel and was replaced by thick, black scales, which have been slowly and painfully encasing him ever since. The 11 year uncommon old skin ailment, which is progressively turning him into a stone statue, has taken away his ability to walk and even speak. Other youngsters are terrified of Ramesh's scaly look, leaving him alone and without companions. Ramesh Adarji has ichthyosis, an incredibly rare disorder that causes his skin to thicken and grow rapidly, giving the impression of scales or turning to stone. The first, Zhang Rui Fang. A 101-year-old Chinese woman, he has developed a devil horn. A devil-like horn has grown from the top of an elderly Chinese woman's head, shocking friends and relatives. Since then, it has grown to over 6 centimeters in length, with a similar horn on the other side. The grandmother's illness has perplexed and disturbed her family in Linlu village, Hanan province. On the right side of her forehead, something is likewise developing. It's conceivable it's another horn. Although the nature of the growth is uncertain, it resembles a cutaneous horn. 
These are funnel-shaped growths that can extend several centimeters from the skin, despite the fact that most are just a centimeter long.